I will not shut up! Music mogul Scene P. Diddy Combs, following federal officials raiding two of Diddy's homes. These raids have sparked renewed interest in a lawsuit filed by Christian music producer Rodney Jones. Jones' complaint involves startling allegations about a variety of unlawful acts, including sex, firearms, and drugs, naming Diddy, and even T.D. Jakes. Jones claims to have hours of damning video and audio recordings that show Diddy, his entourage, and others participating in serious criminal activities. Jones believes that Diddy sought to use his relationship with T.D. Jakes to soften the impact from a lawsuit involving Cassie Ventura. This case, launched by Ventura, apparently motivated Diddy to devise strategies to mitigate its influence on his public image. Speculation about Jakes' relationship with P. Diddy has been circling since last December, and recent occurrences have further fueled the speculation. The internet is buzzing with rumors, especially after federal officers from Homeland Security raided Diddy's estates in California and Florida. These raids are reportedly part of a larger probe into sex trafficking claims. Following the raid on P. Diddy's properties, T.D. Jakes made contentious remarks at an Easter Sunday sermon at his church. While preaching, T.D. Jakes boldly claimed that the devil wants him to stop talking and is trying various tools to keep him quiet. He went on to say strongly that he had decided not to be quiet. These statements have sent the internet into a frenzy, with many assuming that his message is a warning to P. Diddy, assuring him that if he drags him into the mess, he will not hesitate to come out about what he knows. The devil wants you to shut up. That is the entire source of the problem. He's attempting to get you to stop talking. All he's doing is utilizing a tool to close your mouth. However, someone in this room has decided that I will not shut up. I may be shut down, but I will not shut up. I may be restrained, but I refuse to shut up. I may be broke. It has been stated that T.D. Jakes uses subliminal messaging, probably because he feels uncomfortable expressing his opinions explicitly and wants to avoid conflicts. This could possibly be because he is aware that he is constantly being watched, with all eyes focused on his every action. However, it's crucial to remember that these are all theories, and T.D. Jakes could simply be speaking about Jesus, with no thoughts of P. Diddy in mind. In 2022, a video leaked of T.D. Jakes attending Diddy's 53rd birthday party in Los Angeles, generating social media criticism within the church community. Many questioned his attendance at a prestigious occasion. Derek Williams, EVP of T.V. Jakes Entertainment, stressed that the presence was brief and related to local commercial interests. He emphasized that it was a respectable gesture, given Jake's preaching on the Revolt Network. According to Williams, Jake's met the family, recorded a congratulations message, and then swiftly left for scheduled meetings. He stated that any claims to the contrary are false and wrong. In response to the unsubstantiated report in December, Jakes labeled his accusers liars and stated that the worst that could happen was that everything was real and he only had to repent truly from his heart. He went on to remark that the blood has enough power to cover any type of sin. He stated it doesn't matter what it is, the blood will fix it. Committing sin based entirely on the hope that God would forgive might have a number of harmful consequences. For starters, it can foster a complacent attitude towards sin with people justifying their behavior with the notion that forgiveness is certain, perpetuating a cycle of wrongdoing. Furthermore, this perspective might minimize the gravity of sin and the importance of true repentance and transformation. Instead of striving for morality and moral progress, people may become apathetic to their activities, ignoring the harm they do to themselves and others. Furthermore, Taking God's benevolence for granted might undermine a sense of personal duty and accountability, rather than accepting responsibility for one's acts and actively working to change them. There is a risk of passivity and the expectation that forgiveness will instantly discharge all consequences. The scriptures caution against this mindset, emphasizing the significance of not abusing God's grace. For example, in Romans 6-1-2, it says, 
What then? Shall we continue in sin so that grace may abound? God forbid. This text challenges the idea that grace allows us to sin without penalty. It questions the notion that because God's grace is abundant and forgiving, we can freely engage in sinful activity. Instead, it emphasizes that grace is not an excuse for wrongdoing, but rather a gift that enables us to live righteously. The term, God forbid, emphasizes the gravity of this thought. It implies a strong rejection of the notion that we should continue to sin just because we believe God's grace will cover it. This scripture urges believers to realize grace's transformational power, which not only forgives sin, but also enables us to overcome it. It exhorts us to live in accordance with God's will, striving for holiness and obedience rather than accepting grace as an excuse for sin. As a result, rather than relying entirely on faith and forgiveness, individuals are encouraged to strive for righteousness, actively fight sin, and build a genuine relationship with God based on repentance, appreciation, and obedience. T.D. Jakes does not live a God-pleasing life based on his lifestyle, beliefs, or teachings. He has faced criticism for deviating from biblical principles and teaching. The remark is that there are contradictions between his acts, preaching, and professed beliefs. This mismatch raises concerns that he is adopting a viewpoint that allows for sin with the expectation of seeking repentance and forgiveness later. Furthermore, many of his teachings are not biblically correct. This encourages greater thought on the harmony between one's professed ideas and their daily beliefs and practices. The current investigation into T.D. Jakes highlights the significance of honesty and constancy in beliefs and behavior. While allegations and speculation abound, it is critical to avoid drawing conclusions and instead focus on evidence and facts. Furthermore, the discussion highlights bigger issues concerning accountability, repentance, and the real pursuit of holiness. Finally, it is up to individuals to analyze their beliefs and actions, seeking for biblical alignment and honesty in their spiritual path. Anyway, I hope you liked viewing this movie, and I pray that we will all continue to strive to please God. Please remember to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get notified when new videos are uploaded. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Watching. The current investigation into T.D. Jakes highlights the significance of honesty and constancy in beliefs and behavior. While allegations and speculation abound, it is critical to avoid drawing conclusions and instead focus on evidence and facts. Furthermore, the discussion highlights bigger issues concerning accountability, repentance, and the real pursuit of holiness. Finally, it is up to individuals to analyze their beliefs and actions seeking for biblical alignment and honesty in their spiritual path. Anyway, I hope you liked viewing this movie, and I pray that we will all continue to strive to please God.